Okay, I'm going to be interviewing Maureen Page today about her loss of a loved one. How would you describe the person that passed away, your loved one? I would describe my mother that passed away, and she was very energetic, uh, stubborn, um, as you would say, high maintenance, and just lovable. Okay. And how, what was your most fondest memory of your loved one that passed away? So there's a couple of memories that I can recall. One of them was uh, when we first moved to Georgia in 1988 and we had our first Christmas. And we were so excited because it was our first Christmas with presents underneath the tree and uh, family members sending stuff to Georgia for us to open uh, because we came from, you know, um, poverty. So uh, moving to Georgia was like something, you know, almost like we, we became rich. So I was so excited and I peeked through her closet and found a couple of presents. So I opened them to find out what I had, uh, what she had gotten for me. So the day of Christmas, I woke up to my bed being full of all the presents already unopened and um, her coming in there and says, well, you can't come out until uh, everybody else opens theirs because you spoiled yours by peeking. So that was one of the hard lessons of life of learning how to wait and be patient. And then the other fondest memory was the last year that we spent in New Jersey and she graduated from Seton Hall and watching her cross the stage was such a high achievement um, in her class and also being able to see President Ronald Reagan speak was just, um, it definitely was one to remember uh, of uh, her being, um, you know, set a goal coming out of, you know, the, the ghetto to move into to Georgia and just having five kids all alone. So just moving along in life without, you know, letting her... I guess her status changed her her mindset and just, you know, pers- persevering through all of the challenges. And how would you describe your lost loved one's personality? <laughs> That's a I, I would say that she's me, right? Because a lot of people say I'm I'm the mini Mary. So, um a lot of people will say that she was humbled. She was um Again, stubborn is, is, is definitely a character because no one could tell her anything. You know, she was always right uh, in that aspect. Um, and just unconditional love, I guess I would say that, you know, that comes with being humbled. So, I, you know, humbled and stubborn, which are two, <laughs> not good, two clash uh, personalities. Okay. And how did your loved one impact your life the most, would you say? I think that's what made me give me the drive to continue to do better uh, in my life because I watched, you know, single mother of five outcast from family due to mental illness um, and, you know, nothing let her down. You know, she kept going no matter what people labeled her or what people said about her. So um, she taught me that no matter what, just keep pushing uh, to get what I want. Okay. And if you knew they could drop by and visit tomorrow, what would your ideal day be spent together with your lost loved one? I think if my mom was still living or came back for a day, I think it would be sharing memories of the kids that she never met. Um, just giving her update on junior and just life in general, just, just sharing as many memories that I can impact in one day, uh, with her. Okay, and I know your mom would be very proud of you right now today. Um, Thank you so much for this interview. I really appreciate you taking time out of your day. Thank you.